I went up to my mom one day and it was so bad that I told her that if I didn't want to be here anymore, I didn't want her to be sad. So my name is Haley Duell and I'm 27 years old. I was arrested in high school and I sold drugs in high school and I took drugs in high school, but I didn't stop drinking until I was 25, which is when I suffered an injury while I was drunk. And we're not too sure if it was the injury itself or the surgery that followed a month later, but I ended up developing chronic pain issues in my face and head and have been dealing with that ever since. I went to sit down and I guess I was way off from where the chair actually was and I swung back and I cracked the back of my head on, it was a cement floor. After the treatment started working with my uh, headaches and facial pain, um, a new symptom had popped up. And I, it was that I started vibrating internally and it wasn't something that you could see, no one else could see it, um, but I felt it. It was as if every cell in my body was like shaking. Um, and I felt it more when I was laying down and when I was still and I went to sleep and it kept me from sleeping. And how I described it to people was that it felt like somebody was shaking my bed. It brought on a lot of anxiety at the time that I wasn't, I wasn't okay. And no one could really tell me why. I went up to my mom one day and it was so bad that I told her that if I didn't want to be here anymore, I didn't want her to be sad because I didn't know how long this was going to last. And I wasn't going to live a life like the one that I was living. What caused me to explore Christianity finally um, was that my symptoms had, I guess, pushed me to the point where I had exhausted my own strength and exhausted any other options that I thought that I had at the time. And I remember what my mom had told us growing up is that to ask Jesus to enter your heart and your life and he will. I was driving to Dairy Queen one night and I saw this church that had a really cool sign. I thought it was very modern and that's what I was looking for, was something I could connect with because I couldn't really connect with what, how Christianity was visually communicated to the public and I think a lot of people, including myself, thought that Christianity was... Um, a way to control people and uh, if anything it sets you free. Freedom in Christ feels like your entire world has opened up and things that were flat or empty or that you couldn't even see were now visible and like full and had meaning and a purpose including yourself. Every day without him was the worst day, even before my injury. And I would always say afterward when I became a born again Christian that my worst days with him are substantially better than my best days without him. If I were to be giving anyone advice, it would be to give it a chance and soften your heart and especially um, talking to people who are suffering with chronic pain or chronic illness. He sees you and he's with you. And oh my gosh, I know it's hard. I know it's so hard. And it's hard to not be mad at him too when you're going through it. But everything serves a purpose. And this life isn't the only life. I think the one thing that honestly gets me through the bad days is knowing that this life is incredibly short and then to be able to live out eternity with 
you know, with Christ is like, yeah, I'll suffer through whatever this life has to offer because it's not going to last forever. So there's incredible peace in knowing that there is an end to the pain.